Welcome to day three of the festive FODMAP series where I'll be talking all things FODMAP in five minutes or less. Today we're all about those low FODMAP comforting carbs and how those staples and treats stack up on our holiday plate. As mentioned in the previous episodes from this series, I just want to make it clear that this list is not exhaustive and doesn't represent the only carbs, grains and starches you can eat on a low FODMAP diet. I've chosen to list the generic items that most people should be able to get hold of rather than include the many FODMAP tested branded items that are location specific. I encourage anyone attempting to follow the low FODMAP diet to invest in the Monash app where you'll find a comprehensive list of all the foods currently tested, their portion sizes and the FODMAPs that they contain. In here you'll be able to find all of the branded bread products, cereals and pastas that's been tested in your region. Whilst keeping the Christmas season in mind I've stuck to only those foods considered green light low FODMAP to reduce the risk of FODMAP stacking when eating multiple courses and different FODMAP combinations as is typical at this time of year. Of course there are low FODMAP portions of many moderate to high FODMAP foods that can be included in your menu but adding these is very specific to each person's FODMAP threshold and trigger foods so I'll leave those decisions up to you. Let's begin with those grains that have tested low FODMAP up to 500 grams. These are the foods that you can be generous with and fill up on without too much worry about portion sizes. Millet, hulled, noodles, vermicelli style made from rice, sweet potato or mung beans, quinoa, red, black or white, rice, white, brown, basmati, arboreal and glutinous, taco hard shells made from corn and tapioca. So these might not immediately say holiday food to you, but I'm thinking more pre and post indulgence to help give you gut a break between the more FODMAP heavy meals. For example, starting Christmas and Boxing Day morning off with a millet or tapioca porridge, tofu kedgeri or creamy rice pudding will help you to feel full which could minimise cravings and get you through to the main event. I don't know about you but I have a terrible habit of unconsciously picking and snacking whilst I'm cooking and prepping, which can be a surefire way to unintentionally stack up the FODMAPs before even sitting down at the table. To combat this I try to avoid shopping and cooking when I'm hungry and I like to fill up on a low FODMAP breakfast before surrounding myself with tempting high FODMAP goodies. You could also change up your traditional dinner by making a festive fried rice or adding rice or quinoa to your stuffing and baking it in a bell pepper or tomato. Now onto those items that are low FODMAP at their recommended portion sizes. Many of these are ingredients in baked goods rather than whole foods within themselves. This means it's important to be aware of how these various ingredients stack up as a whole so make sure you check out my detailed stacking blog post below. On this list we have baking powder 5 grams, breadcrumbs panko 75 grams, breakfast whole grain oat biscuits 50 grams, buckwheat flakes 120 grams cooked, buckwheat groats 135 grams cooked, cornbread 35 grams, cornflakes gluten free 50 grams, couscous gluten free 78 grams cooked, dosa plain 80 grams, English wheat muffins 67 grams or one muffin, a new addition that I'm really excited about. Flour, these are all considered low FODMAP in 100 gram servings. Arrowroot, buckwheat, corn, maize and massa harina. Gluten free, green banana, millet, quinoa, rice, sorghum, spelt with the bran removed, teff and yam. Gluten free bread, 62 grams, two slices. Noodles, rice stick style, 220 grams cooked. Noodles, soba, 90 grams cooked. Oats, rolled, 52 grams uncooked. Oatmeal, fine, coarse and gluten free, 52 grams uncooked. Oat bran, 22 grams. Pasta, brown rice, 150 grams cooked. Pasta, chickpea, 100 grams cooked. Pasta, gluten free, 145 grams cooked. Puff pastry, regular and gluten free, 45 grams cooked. Polenta, cornmeal, 255 grams cooked. Starches, corn maize, potato and tapioca, all 100 grams. Sourdough bread, wheat, white, 109 grams. Wholemeal, 97 grams. Sourdough spelt bread, 70 grams. Tortilla, white wheat, one tortilla. Tortilla, blue, two tortillas. Vital wheat gluten, 30 grams. So from this list, I can see that I'd be enjoying tofu eggs benedict on an English muffin for breakfast, some buttered sourdough or cornbread alongside my soup, and a puff pastry wellington or wheat meat steak as my main course. The biggest tip I can give you here is to pay attention to whether the weight is cooked or uncooked as this can make a huge difference and unfortunately it's not consistent across the whole of the app. 
You can find the list of today's foods and their portion sizes listed down below. Next time we'll be talking where do you get your protein. So that's one that you won't want to miss. Speak to you soon. Bye.